Hi everyone, welcome to the Explorer. I'm Miss Jane. I'm Quan Pang. Today we will look at a reading comprehension. The topic is a picnic. So please take out your level two workbook. Please turn to page 62 and you will see this page. It is about the topic three, a picnic. So now let's take a look at topic three, a picnic. So now I want you to read together with me. Okay, so when I read number one, then you have to read it together with me as well. Okay, so let's get started. The first sentence, number one, last Sunday morning, Rahim and his family went for a picnic at Jerun Waterfall. Alright, so this sentence, what is it talking about? 他在讲什么呢? Last Sunday morning, last Sunday morning, 就是上个星期日早上, okay, 上个星期日早上, Rahim 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 and his family went for a picnic at Jerun Waterfall. 他们在Jerun Waterfall, Yechan, okay, went for a picnic. Picnic just Yechan. Jerun Waterfall is a poo So it is called Jerun Waterfall, right? So just a sanga sing chizang Rahim Hotada Jaran Zai Jerun Waterfall Zao uh Chi Yechan okay went for a picnic. So next time when I talk about picnic, Miao Zidao just a ye chan the ye shit. Okay, so very good. And then next sentence number two it is a perfect place to unwind. It is a perfect place to unwind. Okay, 它就是讲述, Jerun Waterfall 呢, 是一个 perfect place, 美好的地方, perfect place, 就是美好的地方, 拿来放松, to unwind, okay, look at this word, unwind, 就是可以去放松的一个好地方, okay, so this is for your number two, Next, number three, number three, Rahim's mother put all the food and drinks under a shady tree. Rahim's mother put all the food and drinks under a shady tree. 就是讲呢, Rahim the mama, okay, Rahim the mama ne, put all the food and drinks, 放全部的食物和饮料呢, 在树底下, 那什么树呢? Okay, look at this word, shady. I want you to learn this word, shady. Shady 就是阴凉的树下, okay? So, 就是阴凉的地方, that's called shady. So, shady tree, 在树底下. Okay, next. This is one number three, and we look at number four now. Rahim saw many people swimming in the waterfall. Rahim saw many people swimming in the waterfall. Rahim swimming in the waterfall. Okay? Next, number five. Number five. Out of the blue, they heard someone shouting for help. Out of the blue, they heard someone shouting for help. 突然间, out of the blue, I want to learn this word, okay? Out of the blue, 就是突然间, 他们听见有人在喊救命, shouting for help, okay? 就是喊救命. That's for number five. And next, number six. A boy was struggling in the water. A boy was struggling in the water. 有一个男孩呢, 就在水里挣扎, struggling, struggling, 就是挣扎的意思, okay? 就在水里面挣扎, 他不会游泳水, okay, next, number seven. Immediately, immediately, Rahim's father jumped into the water and saved the boy. Immediately, Rahim's father jumped into the water and saved the boy. 就是赶快的, immediately, 就是赶快的, 快快的, Rahim的爸爸呢, 就跳进河里, 跳进那个水里啦, okay? 就是那个瀑布里面, 跳进去, 然后救这个男孩, okay? 
That is why your number seven. Okay, quite quite. That is called immediately. The so next number eight. The boy's parents thank him profusely for saving their son's life. The boy's parents thank him profusely for saving their son's life. 那个男孩的爸的那个父母呢 ？OK， 那个男孩的父母就非常感谢谁？非常感谢 Rahim's 爸爸。所、so, 以这个字啊，完全就是 thank him profusely. Profusely 就是非常感谢他。For saving their son's life, 就是因为救了他的孩子的这个儿子的一命，所以他就非常感谢他。Okay, so that's number number eight. Next, number nine. Number nine. Rahim was proud of his father's bravery. Rahim was proud of his father's bravery. So Rahim 呢，就以他的爸爸的这个这样勇敢的。一面呢就感到骄傲 ，OK。So his father's bravery, bravery 就是勇敢 ，proud 就是觉得很骄傲，很光荣 ，All right。So that is the story about a picnic. So 就是很简单的一个范文，但有很多生字可以去学 ，All right。So now what I want you to do for now is you have to underline the words, okay? So please use your pencil, or if you have a highlighter, you can use your highlight. If not, then just use your pencil. Okay. So look at what I want. 我要你画线啊，或者是你可以用 highlight 来 highlight 你那些字。So the first word I want you to underline is when for a picnic. When for a picnic. Okay. So 请画线。When for a picnic 就是去野餐的意思。When for a picnic, done. Okay. So if I'm going too fast, then you can pause the video. 觉得太快呢，就可以把这个 video 停下来一下。To when for a picnic, and next number two, number two, I want you to highlight this word unwind, unwind. Okay, unwind 就是放松的意思。Okay, you can read together with me. Unwind, unwind, unwind. Okay, good job. So next number three, number three, I want you to read this word shady, 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 shady tree. Shady 就是阴凉 ，OK， 就在一个阴凉的树下，他们野餐，所、so、以 shady. Next number four, OK, number four, the fourth word I want you to highlight is this word out of the blue, out of the blue. Out of the blue, 突然间 okay. So you read together with me. Out of the blue, out of the blue, out of the blue. Well done. Okay. So next number six, number six. I want you to underline this word struggling, struggling, struggling. Okay. So read together with me. Struggling, struggling, struggling. 挣扎的意思 okay. 不会游泳就在水里面挣扎 That's called the word struggling. Okay. Well done. Next number seven, I want you to underline this word immediately. Immediately, immediately, immediately 就是赶快的，快快的，可以马上立刻，就是去做的，去跳进水里面，所以还是赶快的 ，immediately. All right. So next word I want you to underline is the word thank him profusely. Okay. Thank him profusely, 就是非常感谢这个人。那如果你讲 thank him， 就是谢谢而已。可是如果你要讲你非常感谢他 ，then you can write the word thank him profusely. Can you add this word profusely? Okay, 就是给他，就是表示你非常感谢这个人，所以是 thank him profusely. Okay, so that is the word thank him profusely. And then the last word I want you to use is this word proud. Okay, proud. Proud 呢，就是骄傲，引以为傲。哎，就是我啊、呃，看到他这么的这么的勇敢，那你会你会为他而感到骄傲。就好像你妈妈为你感到骄傲，因为你啊、呃、在讲故事比赛呢表现得很好，所以可以为你感到骄傲。你可以用的一个字叫做 proud。OK， so proud， 来读三次给我听。Proud， proud， proud。Okay, well done. So you have only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five words. Okay. So we are going to write this into your vocabulary book. All right. So now please get ready. Take out your vocabulary book. 
So now once you're ready, I want you to write this word into your vocabulary book. Okay, so please put your workbook at the side so that you can refer to the sentences. All right. So now take a look at number one. Went for a picnic. Went for a picnic. 刚才你 underline 的对吗？你看在 highlight 的这一个字呢。So now I want you to write it into your vocabulary book and then write the Chinese word 去野餐 Went for a picnic 也是叫做华语叫做去野餐 OK. So 为什么是 went 呢？因为已经是过去了 past tense. OK. So you can say go for a picnic or went for a picnic. So now you have to write your A sentence. OK. 一样的 vocabulary book. So A 句子呢是怎么去写的呢 ？As you should remember, you will find in your book and then copy the same sentence. 可以看第一题是不是 went for a picnic 在那一边 ？So you are going to copy the whole sentence. 超整句。Last Sunday morning, Rahim and his family went for a picnic at Jerun Waterfall. Okay, so you are going to copy that into your A sentence. So please do it now. Okay, 现在把它抄起来。So 你可以把这个影片呢按暂停，然后再抄 ，right? So cannot finish, then you have to、uh, stop it and continue. So now, once you're done with your A sentence, it's time for your B sentence. Okay? So B 的句子呢是怎么样的 ？I will say in Chinese, and you are going to write in English. 我会讲华语 ，you will write in English. Okay? 写在英文的。So now B sentence. 听啊 ，B sentence. 我在这里是写华语的，对吗？不要抄华语，先讲多一次啊！不要抄那个华语字，把它换成英文 ，OK？ 所以不要抄华语字，把它换成英文，写英文字在你的 B 的句子。So now you like take a look at this， 听清楚 ，OK？ 你不要讲你不会，你一定要听。So number B， 我和我的家人昨天在巴都弗林吉野餐。我和我的家人叫什么？ Okay, remember you cannot say I and my family. You 应该要讲 my family and I, my family and I. So right now, my family and I. Okay, 我和我的家人。英文呢叫做 my family and I. Okay, 去想要怎么去写啊 ？Subject, my family and I. 昨天 ，OK， 记得吗？我讲过了。昨天的话呢，就是 past tense， 对吗 ？So. 昨天在巴都弗林吉野餐，应该是怎么写呢？就是 My family and I went for a picnic at at where? 看回 A 的句子 ，A 的句子是写 Jerun Waterfall， 对吗 ？So you should write at Batu Fringi. 其实昨天，昨天叫做 yesterday. Okay. So I already tell you the answer. You just need to. Think of the word and write it. Okay, my family and I went for a picnic at Batu Ferengi yesterday. Full stop. This should be your answer. Okay, for number one B. If you can't follow, listen again. Okay, play the video again and get it right. So I repeat, my family and I went for a picnic at Batu Ferengi yesterday. Okay, so I want you to learn how to use the word when for a picnic. Okay, well done. So next, I will proceed to number two. Number two, the word is unwind. Okay, unwind 就是放松 Unwind 就是放松的意思 So as usual, A sentence 找书抄 A 的句子可以在哪里找到？ Okay, the sound is already underlined, right? So a sentence it have to be. It is a perfect place to unwind. It is a perfect place to unwind. That is your a sentence. Next, b sentence. Pulau Langkawi is a beautiful place to relax. So you remember what I taught you? Beautiful place means what? It means look at the a sentence. Okay. 凡是找不到的字呢，找 A 的句子，一模一样可以抄的，是一个美好的地方 ，a perfect place is a perfect place. Perfect place 就是美好的地方，来放松 ，to unwind. OK， 所以你就是抄下去而已。怎么写呢 ？Pulau Langkawi is a perfect place to unwind. OK， that is your B sentence. It's very easy. OK， so you just have to think. And listen and write.
Pulau Langkawi is a perfect place to unwind. Okay, 听不清楚，再播过，再听。Pu Lao Lang Kiao Vi is a perfect place to unwind. That is your B sentence, one number two. Okay, so learn this word unwind, unwind, unwind. 放松 Okay, next. Let's take a look at number three now. Shady, shady 就是阴凉 Okay, 在阴凉的树底下 shady tree. So A sentence. Rahim's mother put all the food and drinks under a shady tree. Rahim 的妈妈把那些食物跟饮料呢都把它放在阴凉的树底下 That is your A sentence. Next B sentence. 我们刚才坐在阴凉的树下。我们刚才坐在阴凉的树下。So I want you to know this word. 坐，给坐呢？英文呢？我们讲了，英文可以是 sit， 也可以是 sits， 可以这样 sit or sits. Past tense, past tense. What is it? Sat, s a t. Okay. So now I want you to go and think how to use the word sit or sits or sat. Okay. So, 刚才看到有没有重要的字呢？刚才呀。So 刚才过了没有？过去了。So 过去应该要用 sit 还是 sits 还是 sat? Okay. So you go and think about it. 我们叫做 V, V sat, or V sit, or V sits. Okay, 在哪里呢 Under a shady tree. Under the shady tree, 就是坐在阴凉的树下 Okay, I repeat. V sit, or V sits, or V sat, under a shady tree. Okay, that is all your three B. And next number four. Out of the blue, okay. Remember, just I ask you to read out of the blue, 就是突然间的意思。突然间。So your A sentence is out of the blue. They heard someone shouting for help. Out of the blue, they heard someone shouting for help. 突然间，他们听见有人在喊救命。Okay. So I want you to take a look at this. 看啊，这个 past tense， 后面是 ing 的。为什么？ Okay, 这个是比较特别的。就每次你讲，你看见或者是听见有人在喊救命，后面的那一个动词呢是 ing 的。So they heard someone shouting. They heard someone crying. They saw someone eating. Okay, 后面有 ing 的。So I have to remember why because you are going to write your B sentence. 现在 B 的句子 ready 啊 ？Okay, 突然间我听见有人在房间哭。突然间 again the word English have to be Out of the blue, 突然间 out of the blue. Okay, 我听见有人在房间哭 So 听见那一样的 heard. 有人 someone 在房间哭哭 You have to use the word ing. So 这边呢就是 crying. Okay, crying. Ah,、uh. so how are you going to write the sentences? 突然间 ，out of the blue, I heard someone crying in the room. Okay, so 你看到很明显吗？一个前面是听见 heard， 哭就有 ing 的。Okay, so 突然间 ，out of the blue, I heard someone crying in the room. That is for your number four B. Okay, so that is number four. Next, let's take a look at number five now. Number five is the word struggling. Struggling, struggling 就是挣扎。Okay, so 刚才讲了，掉进水里不知道怎么做的时候，他们就会挣扎，因为不会游泳。So now let's take a look at a sentence. A sentence is a boy was struggling in the water. A boy was struggling in the water. So 一个男孩呢。现在正在挣扎，在哪里呢？在水里挣扎。Okay, a boy was struggling in the water. Next, I want you to write "can". Okay, "can" 就是 look. So it's the word L O O K. Look. Okay, look. 那位女孩 ，the the girl. Okay, or the little girl. 
，因为那位小女孩啊。So I want you to write, look, the little girl. 现在正在 ，so 现在正在，有没有学过这个字呢 ？Is M R I N G now now now? Okay, so look, the little girl is. I want you to words the word is. Okay, is what? 现在正在 struggling. Okay, so 你去自己去写啊。Is struggling in the 河河叫做 river. Okay, is struggling in the river now. Okay, so again, look, the little girl is struggling in the river now. Okay, I given you the answer, so you have to listen properly and go and find out how to write the word. Look, the little girl is struggling in the river now. That is for your number five B. All right. So let's take a look at number six now. Number six, the word is immediately. Immediately, 就是赶快 Okay. Immediately, 赶快，快快的去救他。So that's called the word immediately. So now the word is immediately. Rahim spun the jump into the water and saved the boy. Okay, 赶快的 Rahim 的爸爸跳进水里救那位男孩。So 现在我要换的句子是 B sentence. 赶快的 immediately. 我的哥哥 change the word. 我的哥哥 my brother. Okay, my brother, 跳进河里。That's I teach you already. Okay, I've taught you. River 就是河里。My brother jump, past tense, ah,、huh? jump into the river and save. 那位女孩，刚才是男孩 ，boy. So now I want you to change the word to girl. So immediately, my brother jump into the river and save the girl. Okay, so. Write it now. Next, let's take a look at number seven. Thank him profusely. Okay, 记得我刚才讲了吗？如果你要讲感谢，就是 thank。可是如果你要讲你很感谢，你非常感谢这个人的话呢，你可以后面加这一个句子，就是 profusely. Thank him profusely. Okay, thank my mother profusely. Thank my teacher profusely. Thank my Brother, profusely. Okay, so that is a word. And then next, the boy's parents thank him profusely for saving their son's life. That is your A sentence. Okay. So next, B. 一样的句子啊。如果我讲非常感谢，你就可以用 thank him profusely. Okay, 或者是中间的可以换 thank my mother, thank her, thank my teacher, thank my neighbor. Okay, so now B sentence. Peter, 非常感谢我的爸爸帮了他 So how are you going to write subject Peter? Subject Peter, the verb will be thank him profusely. So Peter, past tense. Ah, okay, I want you to use past tense. That's why the ed is there. Peter, thank who? 不是讲谢谢他了哈，现在是谢谢谁？我的爸爸。So Peter, thank my father. Yes, thank my father. Profusely for what? Okay, you have to think. Because I said I helped him, so for helping him. Yes, that's the word. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you to write helping him. Okay, so I want you Okay, I write the word for you here. You can see. Okay, so Peter thank my brother for helping him. Thank my brother and、uh, my father. Sorry, thank my father profusely. Okay, use the word profusely. Ah,、uh. so Peter thank my father profusely for helping him. That is your sentence for number seven B. All right. So now next, let's take a look at number eight now. Number eight, proud. So I 讲了骄傲就是引以为傲。为谁感到骄傲 ？So a sentence. Rahim was proud of his father's bravery. So Rahim 呢是感到他的为他的爸爸的勇敢呢而感到骄傲。Okay. So 现在你 B sentence 啊。When B sentence is 我的妈妈为我的勇敢而感到骄傲。这是你的勇敢，不是你爸爸。So 换了 my mother. Okay. 我的妈妈。So use the same sentence. 看回 A 的句子，一模一样的这样子写。Rahim was proud of his mom,、uh, his father's bravery. So you now Juan, my mother was, okay, past tense, was proud 
of 谁的谁的勇敢 ，my 给我的 ，so、I、was proud of my bravery. I repeat, 我的妈妈 ，my mother was proud of my bravery. 给、okay, bravery 就是勇敢，给我解释了哈。My mother was proud of my bravery. Okay, that's the word for number eight. All right, so if you can write all these sentences all by yourself and it you get all correct, that is really very good. OK， 所以哪一次不会的同学呢，没有关系。OK， 是有一点点难这些生字，可是你一定要去学会它。So now I want you to check your answers. OK， 所以 number one to number eight，the answers are here. OK， 刚才我们用华语写的那一个句子，全部答案都在这里了。So I want you to check. OK， 现在呢就一题一题去检查有没有错字。Look at the spelling. OK， 所以 you look at number one B。第一题的是 went for a picnic, right? So 去找 E B 检查 My family and I went for a picnic at Bado Fringy yesterday. Okay, very good. Next, two B, three B, four, five, six, seven, eight. Please get everything checked. Okay, so 请你做好检查了 Okay, 第一题到第八题一定要检查清清楚楚 So. Homework to be sent. OK, 功课需要交的功课呢，很简单。OK， 前面的那些句子不需要拍照了。Don't have to take a picture. You just need to send this homework, which is your reading. OK, so I want you to make sure that you really practice until you are fluent. Only you send it to us. Your recording. OK, so 确定读了很，已经是很流利了呢，然后才发给我们听。Okay, so now I will read one more time for you. Okay, 读多一次给你听 Then you can read together with me. 不会的，再听 So, ready? Let's get started. Okay, look at number one. I will read it once slowly. A second time will be fast. Last Sunday morning, Rahim and his family went for a picnic at Jerun Waterfall. Last Sunday morning, Rahim and his family went for a picnic at Jerin Waterfall. Number two, it is a perfect place to unwind. To unwind. It is a perfect place to unwind. Number three, Rahim's mother put all the food and drinks. Under a shady tree, Rahim's mother put all the food and drinks under a shady tree. Number four, Rahim saw many people swimming in the waterfall. Rahim saw many people swimming in the waterfall. Number five, out of the blue. They heard someone shouting for help. Out of the blue, they heard someone shouting for help. Number six. A boy was struggling in the water. A boy was struggling in the water. Number seven. Immediately, Rahim's father jumped into the water and saved the boy. Immediately, Rahim's father jumped into the water and saved the boy. Number eight, the boy's parents thanked him profusely for saving their son's life. The boy's parents thanked him profusely for saving their son's life. Number nine, Rahim was proud of his father's bravery. Rahim was proud of his father's bravery. Okay. So now I will read it a little bit faster. Okay, so you can read it like me. Number one, last Sunday morning, Rahim and his family went for a picnic at Jerun's waterfall. Number two, it is a perfect place to unwind. Number three, Rahim's mother put all the food and drinks under a shady tree. Number four, Rahim saw many people swimming in the waterfall. Number five. 
out of the blue, they heard someone shouting for help. Number six, a boy was struggling in the water. Number seven, immediately Rahim's father jumped into the water and saved the boy. Number eight, the boy's parents thanked him profusely for saving their son's life. Number nine, Rahim was proud of his father's bravery. So that's all for today's lesson. Please send your homework which is the reading, okay? Read this passage. You don't have to take any picture for us. You just need to record and send it to us. All right, so that's all for today. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you. Subscribe to Explorer for more lessons. Have a nice day.